In the vast tapestry of automotive history, there are stories that transcend the mere mechanics of machines. Lionel Martin's story is one of such tales, a narrative of unquenchable passion, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of automotive perfection. Born into a world poised for change, Lionel Martin's journey would take him from the ordinary streets of London to the extraordinary circuits of international acclaim. Alongside his partner, Robert Bamford, he would co-create a legend that, to this day, defines the zenith of high-performance sports cars. Yet, as the engines he helped birth roared to life and captivated the world, Lionel Martin would find himself in the shadow of his own creation. This is the tragic odyssey of a visionary, a co-founder of Aston Martin, whose life mirrored the very essence of his machines. Speed, elegance, and a poignant blend of triumph, tribulation, and tragic end. Our story begins on a crisp winter day, January 11, 1878, in the vibrant neighborhood of Hammersmith, London, United Kingdom. In this bustling urban center, a new life came into the world, destined to leave an indelible mark on the automotive industry and the world of sports cars. Lionel Martin, the man in question, emerged as a shining star among the many lives that took root in the bustling metropolis of London. As a young boy, he undoubtedly displayed an innate curiosity and an inherent fascination with machinery, for his future path would be one of engineering brilliance. Growing up in the heart of London, Lionel was exposed to a world of innovation and industry. The late 19th century was a time of great technological progress, with the dawn of the automotive age just on the horizon. The allure of the machines and the potential they held for transformation undoubtedly left a lasting impression on young Martin. As he wandered the streets of Hammersmith, his eyes were drawn to the occasional sight of those newfangled contraptions called automobiles. The sputtering engines, the gleam of polished chrome, and the sense of freedom they represented fascinated him. It was as if he had an unspoken connection with these machines, a connection that would only grow stronger with time. With each passing day, his passion for the emerging automotive industry deepened. He envisioned himself not just as an observer of the automotive revolution, but as an active participant, shaping the future of these remarkable machines. In the early years of the 20th century, as the world stood on the precipice of great change, Lionel Martin's passion for all things automotive had grown into an unshakable dream. He envisioned himself not just as an observer of the automotive revolution, but as an active participant, shaping the future of these remarkable machines. With that vision firmly in his mind, in the year 1913, Lionel Martin, along with his friend and partner Robert Bamford, took a bold step forward. Together, they co-founded a company that would mark the beginning of an extraordinary automotive legacy. The company was named Bamford & Martin, a modest start for what would eventually become one of the most iconic names in the world of high-performance sports cars. Their venture was born out of a shared belief that they could create something truly exceptional. Lionel's expertise in engineering and his unwavering passion for automobiles, combined with Bamford's entrepreneurial spirit, provided the perfect foundation for their fledgling enterprise. Their small workshop was nestled in a corner of London, away from the bustling city streets, and it buzzed with the energy of creativity and innovation. It was in this modest setting that the seeds of what would become Aston Martin were sown. The name Aston Martin itself would later be derived from their surnames, but at this early stage, it was simply two friends with a shared dream. Lionel Martin's journey with Bamford and Martin was marked by an unyielding commitment to crafting high-performing sports cars. From the inception of their enterprise, he and Robert Bamford shared a vision of engineering excellence and speed that would set them apart from the rest. Their decision to focus on high-performance sports cars was unconventional for the era. Many automobile manufacturers were still grappling with the fundamentals of motorized transportation, but Lionel Martin and Bamford were aiming for the stars. They recognized the allure of speed, the thrill of the race, and the enduring passion for pushing the boundaries of what was possible on four wheels. In the early 1920s, Lionel Martin's engineering genius found its full expression. He designed and oversaw the construction of their first high-performance sports car, a vehicle that would become a symbol of their commitment to speed and excellence. It was christened the Coal Scuttle, a name that might have seemed unassuming, but the car itself was anything but. 
The Coal Scuttle was a masterpiece of engineering and design. With its sleek lines, powerful engine, and a chassis built for endurance, it was a revelation on wheels. Its first test on the challenging roads of Aston Hill was nothing short of spectacular. The car navigated the ascents and descents with finesse, leaving its mark on the hallowed grounds of the hill climb. The car's unique design, inspired by the shape of a coal scuttle, set it apart from other vehicles of the time. It was a symbol of innovation, not just in terms of speed, but also in terms of aesthetics. The early successes of Aston Martin in hill climbs and endurance races were a testament to Lionel Martin's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the automotive world. These achievements laid the foundation for a legacy that would continue to thrive and evolve. As the coal scuttle roared through the hills, it was evident that Lionel Martin's dream was taking shape. The world was beginning to recognize the name Aston Martin, not just as a company, but as a symbol of speed, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of engineering excellence. The company's racing successes at the Aston Hill climb were just the beginning. The blend of elegance and performance wasn't a mere marketing gimmick. It was the very essence of Aston Martin's identity. Whether on the racetrack or the open road, an Aston Martin was a statement of refined taste and the desire for unadulterated speed. With each race they won, with every head they turned, Aston Martin was cementing its place in the pantheon of high-performance sports cars. Aston Martin's journey through the world of high-performance sports cars had been one of triumph and innovation. However, like any great story, it had its shares of challenges and turbulent chapters. For Lionel Martin and his company, the road ahead was about to take an unexpected turn. Financial challenges loomed on the horizon, casting a shadow over the legacy they had built with such passion and dedication. The costs of research, development, and competition were mounting, and the weight of these financial burdens began to take its toll. The dream of creating exceptional sports cars was at risk of being extinguished by the harsh realities of economics. In a pivotal moment in the company's history, changes in ownership became inevitable. New stakeholders, eager to keep the flame of Aston Martin alive, stepped in. The change in ownership brought with it a shift in direction. The company needed to adapt to the evolving demands of the market while remaining true to the essence of the brand. These transitions were never easy, and they carried a bittersweet tinge of transformation. As the company charted its new course, it was decided that Lionel Martin would eventually depart from the company he had co-founded. The man whose name had become synonymous with elegance and speed was stepping away from the legacy he had played an instrumental role in creating. The departure of Lionel Martin did not dim the company's spirit, though. Aston Martin continued to thrive and evolve under the stewardship of the new owners. The company ventured into new territory, expanding its product line to cater to the demands of a changing market. While maintaining its commitment to high-performance sports cars, Aston Martin also began to craft luxury vehicles that combined power with opulence. These new creations bore the same mark of excellence that had been the hallmark of the brand from its inception. With each passing year, the company's reputation for combining elegance and performance continued to grow. As Aston Martin embarked on this remarkable journey, its co-founder Lionel Martin did not fade into obscurity. Lionel continued to be a driving force in the realm of engineering. His expertise and insight were sought after by those who recognized his contributions to the automotive industry. His presence in the automotive world served as a bridge between the past and the future. He continued to inspire with his dedication to pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the realm of high-performance sports cars. As the years progressed, Lionel's health began to decline and he found himself spending more time in the quiet solitude of his home. Due to petrol rationing in the Second World War, he returned to traveling on his bicycle. On October 14, 1945, he was knocked off at a set of traffic lights on Gloucester Road near his home. The man who had co-founded Aston Martin and left an indelible mark on the world of automotive excellence, had passed away at the age of 67.